If you're in the dairy business, you certainly know that the cream rises to the top. And in the dairy business, Borden is the cream of the dairy industry. And it's our role as RSRs and DSLs to make sure we execute each and every day because it requires that type of execution to maintain this leadership in the industry. Hi, I'm Bob Coakley. I'm your humble sales and coaching leader. And the purpose of this video is to help you prepare as a DSL leader to uh, roll out the cream process training to your team of RSRs. In this video, I'm just going to quickly review the documents you're going to need, uh, some tips on how to set up the room, uh, a little bit of overview and the timing of the session, some advice on how to prepare, some training tips, and then lastly, we'll wrap it up. So as you prepare for the session, you're going to want to print some documents off. You'll print off the RSR playbook, the cream process pocket guide, it looks something like this that will be folded, the route ride scorecard, and certificates. You can print this all prior to the session so you're ready. And the certificates specifically, you're going to want to have each RSR's name in there because it's really critical that we give them their certificate when you complete this 90-minute workshop. We want them to have that sense of accomplishment. Now, also in preparation is choosing the location that you're going to do the session. Ideally, it's in an area where there's less interruption. We know in this business and your branches, there's a lot of in and out. So ideally, if you can do it in that space where you can have a, a more uninterrupted meeting. Now, I know that's perfection, but you can do your best. In addition to that, if you have more people, be thoughtful about how people are sitting around. This is very interactive and discussion oriented. You've been through the leadership training. You may have been through one of these trainings. So be thoughtful about how you set up your seating and maybe even if you want to be on your A game, who you sit next to who. Maybe someone really experienced next to somebody new. Maybe someone who's kind of a naysayer next to someone who's positive that can kind of bring them up. Now, this workshop is designed to go for 90 minutes. There's a lot here for 90 minutes, but it's really important to just remind yourself of the goal of this training. They should leave there, okay? Number one, knowing that we have a process on how we engage with our customers. It's a defined process that you know everyone probably does unconsciously, but we're gonna have a common language. And at the end, they should know what that language is, what the five steps are, and number two, be committed to actually applying this more consistently and at a higher level, okay? And having discussions around each and every step like this will help remind them of some of the things they do that help us deliver great experiences. So at the end, they leave a little more focused, they understand that we have the cream process and how we engage with our customers, that is great. Don't feel like they have to cover every single page, every single word. If you have a good discussion and people leave co with commitments to, on how they're going to service customers in the next week, that is a successful training. I'm going to go over a little bit in more detail about how you open it up and how you close it down. But uh, more importantly, how it starts is really how it goes. Um, but let's jump in and let me share with you some of those training tips. To really get people engaged right in the beginning, a great way to do that is what with what we call a handshake warm-up or a high-five warm-up. You ask everyone, hey, everyone, please stand up. High-five with three people in the room and say, I'm really glad I work with you. Even if it's a small group of people, it physically gets them up. If they had their cell phones or their, their, um, their worksheets out or something, it gets them disengaged so everyone's really engaged and you've got control of the group. So again, that, hey, everyone, please stand up, high five three people and say, I'm glad I work with you. Or, hey, Borden is the best, right? So that gets them engaged. And you say, please take a seat. And at this point, we're providing to you a video. It's me opening up the session with the Olympic story. And really the purpose of this is to have that common uh, kickoff on what's the purpose of this. And the purpose is not that you don't know how to do what you do. The purpose is how can we do what we do even better? How can we do what we do even more consistently? And we want that to be the mindset so people are engaged as they go through this training with you. 
right? Thinking not, I already do this, but how can I do it better, right? It's that mindset. The reason they are here, the reason they're on the boarding team is because we know they got the skills to deliver that perfect 10. All right. Now, the other thing we'll be using consistently throughout the training, and you should refer to this and have them get it out right in the beginning, is the cream process job aid, or it's called the pocket guide. We're going to make sure you get this and you can actually fold it. it. It's cut so it can go in their pocket. Okay. And as they go through the training to make this actionable is they should be writing down specific customers under each step. So when you cover the building rapport step, you'll say, Write down a customer, maybe the first delivery tomorrow, your third one, where you're really going to execute some ideas from how you can greet the customer to how you can build even more rapport with them. Then as you go through each and every step, they should jot down a specific customer. This is going to help them put this into practice versus just being philosophical. Does that make sense? And remember, and I have to remind myself this all the time, it's not what you know, it's what you do right? I know last night at nine o'clock, I shouldn't have had ice cream because I'm trying to watch my diet, right? But I did it. I, I, you know. So again, all this stuff, it's not rocket science, right? We know it, but what happened on that very last delivery that you did? More importantly, what can you do on this next delivery to make it even better? And that's the mindset we want to open up the session with. So I wanted to share some advice and reminders on how you can make this truly an interactive, thoughtful, great training. And it's a lot of the same techniques that we used in the Coaching Forward program. Number one is to remember to ask versus tell. Learn to be lazy, right? When people ask questions, make sure they go first. Well, what would you do or what have you done in the past? Open it up to the other RSRs in the room. Hey, what would you guys do? What have you done in the past? Or, you know, to get the conversation, you go, you might ask a question like, hey, Eduardo, can you share an example of how you greet a customer in a creative way? And that way they're sharing ideas and you're putting the spotlight on the RSRs and they own it. The other technique we use is what we call think, write, share. So throughout the RSR playbook, we have a lot of questions and they're written very deliberately. It's to help people think about what they do and how they do it. And as they write things down, they begin to own it even more. And then finally sharing that. It could be sharing with a partner. It could be sharing with the entire group. But when you give people time to think about it, they're more likely to interact and share some relevant good information versus, hey, who would like to share this? You sometimes put people on their heels and they're going to shut up and it's going to be disengaging. So you might say, hey, take a moment, read over that question, write some ideas down. I'll give you about 90 seconds or two minutes or three minutes, or you can have them do it with a partner, right? That way they're collaborating together and they can kick around some ideas. Then you debrief to the room. Who would like to share what you wrote down on that question? So remember, you're going to get more engage engagement when people have a little bit of time to think about what their answer might be where they're not required to answer immediately. And this is where you have to be careful as a coach because often you have the answer. So you're like, I want to just give it. I'm going to save time. You're really not because they're not going to own it. The other technique that you're going to want to use throughout is throughout the uh, – RSR playbook, um, each step has a summary page that has a list of best practices, and it's a number of things. What I've found a good way to do uh, this is if you're, especially if you're running short on time, just go to that page, say, hey, let's read through this list of ideas and best practices that we collected from RSRs across the country, right? Read these, and as we read these, as you read them, circle one that catches your attention. And then at the end, People would have written or circled one and you can say, who would like to share which one you circled and why? And that way they can elaborate on it and, and ask them to share a specific customer story. And this is really going to make this come to life. So it's written specifically to draw engagement and, and get people talking about what they're doing to own this content. And then lastly is practice. We don't call it role play, but a lot of this stuff, it's easy to understand but it's sometimes hard to kind of get out your lips if you haven't been asking it this way. So specifically, I highlighted right here, 
um, we have the upserve step, right? It's not upsell, it's upserve, right? How can we serve them better? But this question, uh, if we can practice this a few times, hey, how can I help you sell even more chocolate pints? How can I help you sell even more gallons, right? Um, how can I help you sell even more buttermilk, you know, during the holiday season? How can I help you sell more kid builder, right? So it's like a forward thinking question and it gets the customer talking, right? But oftentimes if we don't practice this, we'll fall into some traps like, hey, can I sell you more kid builder? That's a yes, no, right? So remember a lot of this stuff and in interactivity comes with practice, not role play. So let's move on and talk about how we can wrap up the session and make sure people leave excited and motivated. So just like we want to start strong, we want to end strong. And how we end strong is giving some time or making sure we dedicate some time at the end and we don't have people just to spell and run out is by, you know, set a timer and put, give yourself a good 10 to even 15 minutes to summarize and get through the content and then get each RSR to share some commitments. So we talked about their um their uh, RSR, the pocket guide, the cream process pocket guide, have them share specific customers by specific steps. Say, who would like to share a customer you're going to focus on with the upserve step? Who's going to share uh, an example of how you're going to execute the make it remarkable step? So specific customers, what step they'll focus on and what they're going to do uh, something they can measure or what they will do. And then ask them to make sure this happens in the very next delivery. Uh, all these deliveries should happen in the next 24 to 48 hours, right? More likely to put it into practice then. And then, then the last thing, hey, share with me how that went. I'd love to hear what you learned from that, right? And so when they're coming back in from the end of their day, you can have them stop in and give them give you the two minute update. And then this is how we're going to help people own this process. So uh, it's pretty much it in a nutshell. You've got all the materials. You're a real pro. If you have any questions on how we can help you be even better equipped, just let us know. I'm an email or phone call away. But I look forward to hearing how this goes and how you're helping your team of RSRs really go out there and execute the cream process so we are the cream of the dairy business. Take care, and we'll see you soon.